in this module we will talk about something which is called as the validation if you recall in the prior module i very very briefly gave you an introduction about javascript and i told you that javascript is used for client side validation so this module will give a brief overview and some of the pitfalls which the programmers fall into because of javascript validation so it is very useful now what the javascript does is that it tries to ensure it ensures tries to ensures cannot guarantee it tries to ensure that the data which is filled into the form is as is correct not semantically correct but it is correct as per the requirement right now what was happening uh, before actually javascript is in use for quite a while for the purpose of uh, form validation but before javascript was there there were the browsers and in the browsers there were forms text boxes radio button check boxes and the users entered the data in the form and the browser transferred that data in the html page to the web server and the web server checked what were the contents in this form and the contents were correct or not right that is called as the server side validation right do so the checking is taking place at the at the database server it could be the application server also but usually it's a database server right and in the client side validation we use the javascript to check the correctness at the client which is the browser okay so let me give you one example over here so uh, you you start in and there's a page and uh, on that page there is a alert box and the box is asking something from you okay asking you to give the name right asking to give the name now if you type numerics over here or if you don't type anything and you just submit this queue repress this button over here okay then there are two options one is that you give something which is correct which is here or you give something which is incorrect which is here okay so it will say that a name is required which is shown by this 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 red circle over here right so this is the validation so asking and when the when, when the when the name was confirmed is generated the hello message and i click on this okay and i move on to the next page or i move on to the the next uh, task or whatever is required in the next site now the thing is that the javascript as i said that people have been using in for validating with javascript validating with jquery also now uh, in this course uh, we will be using javascript for the purpose of validation not uh, jquery and remember that when the form is filled you type something in the form okay then there are different commands for javascript to read the contents of that that it could be a text box it could be a radio button for the case of radio buttons there is a grouping so they are logically grouped together they have the same label also because only one value of the radio button is is selected at a time is considered at a time as opposed to check boxes where you can have multiple values i believe you understand this right or not now uh, this is one thing over here that we can work with these boxes and radio buttons also which i'll be talking about over here is the hacking of the javascript validation hacking of the javascript validation now if you recall in the prior module i spoke about the dollar underscore get and dollar underscore post also what they are doing is that they are passing the commands to the server and uh, if and those and if i can circumvent this if i can circumvent this then i can be doing things which i am not supposed to do right or not now before i go into more detail one point is to be remembered is that javascript is running on the browser on my browser i am the client i have the option of turning off the javascript right and i can do it on purpose or i can do or that person who has turned off the javascript may have malicious intents okay may want to run something on the main on the on the on the database server okay through the web server without validating on the client end there are many many programmers okay who kind of boast and they say 
we are fine, we are safe. Why? Because we have done client side validation in the JavaScript. But remember, remember that anybody can turn off the JavaScript and that validation is no use. Let me go into more details. Hacking JavaScript validation. What, what is going to happen? Say, I give you one, one example over here that if I turn off the JavaScript, what's going to happen? Say, for example, I submit the data and there is a range of numbers which I'm allowed to submit. Say between one and three, right? And based upon the data which I submit, an order is generated. If I turn on the uh, JavaScript, this is fine. It will check. But if I turn off the JavaScript, then I can enter negative numbers also. That will confuse the server. Or I can enter data more than three, and that data will be passed to the server, database server, and it will make a wrong order. You see, you can play with JavaScript. 